In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best blitz defense in Madden 23. This is post-patch. This defense will absolutely scream. Now, Madden released a brand new patch to the game, and I think it actually brought back one of the defenses that has kind of fallen off in the meta, and that is the nickel over. I think the nickel over is still really good, um, especially now that we have a lot more pick artists, um, especially now that we have some different packages, different things that we can do to make this formation even even more powerful with packages, uh, like I said, and then um, also just getting people in different positions, uh, better personnel positioning as well, uh, which we teach you how to do in my nickel over defensive ebook. But this still remains, I think, one of the best defenses in the game, and I think it also remains one of the best shed defenses, and it now, I think, is even better from a blitzing perspective than it was. Um, sometimes when Madden patches the game, they kind of ghost patch or, or like tweak things, tweak little things that make a big difference in the big picture. And I think they did that for nickel over. I think it's much better um, than it was like yesterday. So uh, with that in mind, let's go over Overstorm Brave and just how I like to run this defense from a universal setup. Man coverage is still the meta. It's going to be meta all year. But there is some other things we can do from a zone coverage perspective. It's just the alignment that you get out of nickel over I think is fairly superior to any other formation in the game. Um, just because of its ability to be able to match up well from a man coverage perspective, while also still giving you the power to be able to send a lot of pressure at your opponent. If you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, make sure you check out my Patreon. It also has a full match defensive uh, ebook as well that will walk you through how match coverage works, not only from nickel over, but from every formation in the game. Uh, so if you want to check all that stuff out, you get everything in the Patreon, all the ebooks, all the updates for just 10 bucks. And we're going to be updating um, our defensive ebooks here in the next couple of days because there is a lot of things that are uh, kind of coming into focus defensively. So anyways, let's get into the blitz over Storm Brave out of Nickel Over. What we're going to do is we're going to pinch our D-line and we're going to pinch our linebackers. We're going to leave this off coverage and then we're going to use this defender kind of right in here and um, basically if the running back stays in we're going to kind of lurk we're going to kind of swerve him down and inside and then go to coverage if the running back kind of bails or goes on a route we're just going to go cover the running back and as you can see we're going to get pretty good instant pressure now this pressure is really good because it comes in against play action it comes in against really anything it doesn't matter you're going to pretty much guarantee yourself you're going to get some really glitchy uh, disengages and you're going to get some really glitchy pressure. Now, obviously, we're we're sitting six and we're getting one free. Like, if you really look at it though, we are kind of getting two people free, as you can see on the right side. And because of how fast the defensive ends are right now in Ultimate Team, it actually makes this pressure even better because it gets this pressure gets on you significantly faster than any other blitz in the game. That's what makes Nickel Over, I think, so powerful. Now, um, what they're going to do to try to block this is they're going to block the running back. And what you're going to notice is if the running back blocks, what I'm going to do with my user is I'm going to swerve inside, and you're going to see we're going to loop around the right side and still get the pressure. So I'm going to break this down in instant replay. This is how you want to get, take your user. You're going to see here that I see the running back is going to stay in, so I hold left trigger, and I kind of slide in and then get into the middle of the field for coverage, and I'm able to lurk quick routes over the middle. This is an incredible defense in my opinion. And again, I want to talk about it from an alignment perspective for just a second. So let's say that I wanted to run a zone-based defense out of this. I actually think this has an incredible zone coverage. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to put this left side guy in an outside third. We're going to put this right side guy into an inside third. We're going to put this uh, outside third on the right. And then we're going to take this guy and we can put him in a hard flat. So you see, this is kind of what the defense looks like. Now I'm still doing the same basic thing. If the running back goes to the left, then I'm going to want to jump to the left side in coverage. If the running back stays in, then I am going to want to kind of lurk the middle. Another variation of this could be a deep half, a vert hook, and a cloud flat. You see how you can create kind of different coverage shells 
with these adjustments. And again, it looks like man-to-man, so they might set up some man-to-man beaters, keep the running back in, and now I'm going to be able to lurk over the middle of the field. And you see that not only if we even if we get picked up, you're going to get these gl- these um, disengages on the defensive line that I think are really, really, really good. Okay, so you know something simple like this. And then again, if they block the running back, I'm going to lurk down here. And you see we're looping in the middle really, really well. So this defense provides a lot of flexibility. Now, if I wanted to play a good, a good coverage defense, we know that outside thirds are really good in coverage. So what I can do is take these linebackers, and I can man them up on the outside guys, and then I could drop essentially a two outside thirds on the right side here. And then I could take my defensive tackle, who I can actually put linebackers at this position, and man him up on the running back, or just drop him into coverage over the middle of the field. And what you'll see here is this little coverage defense is super glitchy as well, and you're going to get great sheds from the nickel over. I think nickel over is going to make a comeback. I think that the four down lineman pass rush in this game is too good to not be in a four down lineman set, to be quite honest with you. And if you can learn how to run this defense, um, I think you're going to have a lot of success in the coming uh, weeks because nickel over, I think there's a lot more versatility uh, within it than just the blitz. But I also think that this four down lineman pass rush can actually be super glitchy as well. And you're going to get really, really, really good sheds from this defense. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. We're going to be updating this defense very soon because I'm going to show you some really cool things about a four down lineman pass rush in this game. We're also going to show you some better stuff from a coverage adjustment perspective of how to actually adapt this defense um, to kind of fit anything that the opponent is going to do. So if you want to get access to all of that material, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to get access to all of our eBooks and all the updates to those eBooks and any new eBooks. So if you want to sign up for that, we've got 18 different offensive and defensive eBooks. We're bringing out a brand new one this week for you guys as well. Make sure in the Patreon, we break down the game super in depth there. Um, again, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.